Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and we are back with another Devember tutorial. Now, if you're just now joining us for Devember, Devember is it stands for Divi Plus November, a word mashup. And Devember is the month long series that we're doing here at Divi Life for the whole month of November. And so, essentially, for Devember, we are doing uh, almost daily live streams with Divi tutorials. We're giving away Divi freebies. Uh, we've already given away a uh, really cool Divi child theme called Divi Digital Marketing. Uh, and then we're going to be launching some epic new Divi products towards the end of the month. And then we've also uh, been doing feature updates to some of our existing Divi products. So uh, earlier this week, we launched Divi Overlays 2.9 with a bunch of cool new features. So definitely uh, stay tuned for more coming to Devember. We are doing a bunch of tutorials and a lot more stuff. Now, if you are watching live right now, either on Facebook or YouTube, do me a favor and comment live and then where you are in the world. So live and Paris, France, live and uh, San Clemente, California, which is where I'm at. Uh, so wherever you are, just that, let us know. That helps for tracking purposes. And then also, if you're watching the replay, same thing, type replay and then where you're joining from. So no matter if you're on Facebook or YouTube or watching on the Divi Life blog, just write replay and then where in the world you are watching from. That helps us for tracking purposes, who's watching live versus watching the replay. And then it's also just fun to see where everyone is tuning in from in the world because we have a global audience. Uh, we have customers and subscribers from all over the world. So uh, it's really fun. So if you're just now jumping on, this is part of our Devember series. Divi, Devember is Divi Plus November, a word mashup. And it's a series that we're doing all month long for November where we're doing Divi tutorials, Divi freebies, new feature updates to existing Divi products, and then some epic new Divi products that we're going to be announcing soon. So uh, definitely don't miss out on the Devember fun. And the way you cannot miss out on the Devember fun is we have a button on all of our Devember posts that says subscribe to Divi Life and never miss a tutorial or freebie. And so we'll, we'll uh, go ahead and notify you when we add new De Devember tutorials as well as uh, freebies and all that good stuff. Uh, and then you can also click this um, link here, which is just the category link, and go to the uh, Devember archive page here and it'll show you all the posts everything that we've done so far so you can see uh oh here's the the digital marketing child theme you can go and click that and download that and then some other tutorials that we've done and as the month progresses this list is going to get longer and longer so definitely check it out and don't miss out on all the fun so in today's tutorial we are talking about how to add a google map to divi without using the Divi map module and without having to use a Google API. Now, if you've been using uh, Divi for a while, uh, then you might know that back in the day, you used to be able to create a new, uh, add a map module, add your, your pin, your markers and everything the way you want, and then boom, you're done. Unfortunately though, a couple of years ago, Google decided to basically make things a lot more difficult for us in the web design and development world. And now they require you to create a developer account with Google and, and sign up for a Google Maps API key. And I believe, I could be mistaken, but if I remember correctly, you also have to add your credit card information so that if you go over the threshold that they give you for free in terms of traffic and all that, then they're actually going to start charging you for use of Google Maps, which is not great. I mean, it's their service. They can choose what they want, but it's frustrating when something was free and now all of a sudden is no longer free. And so um, using the Divi Map module is kind of a pain. And so we actually have a really easy workaround where you can add a Google Map to Divi for free without having to use the Google API key. And so we're going to show you that today. Now, a couple things before we dive into that and show you the really easy method, uh, I want to say that you don't have quite as much control and flexibility and customization ability with this free easy method as you do if you use the Divi map module and you sign up for that Google API. So for example, if you wanted to add multiple markers to a map and you wanted to customize the text so that when a user clicks on the marker, it'll say whatever you want, like, you know, Bob's amazing plumbing business, even though that's not the name of your company that's registered with Google. 
Um, or say, for example, you want to customize the controls, like the mouse and, and making it draggable and all that. Um, or if you wanted to customize the design of the map and actually make it black and white or change the color scheme, all of that, well, then you would have to go and create a developer account and sign up for an API key and all that with, with, uh, with Google and then use a Divi map module. However, if you just want a simple map on your, your Divi website, on your page, without having to go through all those extra steps, well, then it's going to be a, a breeze and this is going to work out great for you. So. Uh, just wanted to make that clear that there are some drawbacks, uh, but it's very easy. So uh, really quick here. Um, so this is the demo website we're going to be working with. This is the uh, Divi Fitness layout. And if you scroll all the way down, oops, that's uh, the good version. Make sure this is updated here. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when you import this layout. So if you import the Divi Fitness layout and uh, let me, this is what it's going to look like. Bear with me. If you import the Divi Fitness layout and you scroll down, this is what Google's going to do. They're going to say, hey, you haven't registered this domain name. You don't have an API key and therefore we're not going to render the, the full map. And they have this watermark, they have this warning error message. And it's just a really crappy experience either for you or your visitors and it's it stinks and so um in order to get rid of that you have to go through those steps i mentioned which is going over to google signing up for a developer's account getting an api key adding your credit card info uh, and so again we're going to get rid of this and it's going to look like the way it looked like before i refreshed it uh, which is the the right way um, and so the first thing you want to do uh, is you want to go over to maps.google.com and you can type in any location that you want. I am just for fun. I'm going to type, uh, I lived in Austin, Texas for several years. And so I'm going to type Torchy's Tacos, Austin, Texas, just for fun for this demo example. All right, so let's zoom in here. So what you want to do is you want to type the location uh, and you can kind of get it close to the way you want here. And then what you're going to do is once you have the right location, the right pin, then you're going to hit the share icon here. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in in my browser just to make sure you can see that there. Is that over my, yeah, right there behind me, that share icon. Uh, and when you do that, it's going to show a modal here and this modal it's going to have two tabs send a link and then the second one is embed a map and embed a map is the one that we want and so you'll see here it, it gives you some embed code an iframe code and you can go ahead and click copy html if you want to use it as is or what you can do is you can customize it further get the right zoom the way you want it get it centered on the map exactly the way you want it all right, that looks pretty good. I like that. If you wanted to go over to satellite, you can click the satellite. I'm gonna stick it on regular map. And what it does is when you're doing that, it's changing the parameters here in the iframe code. So once you have it the way you want, you're gonna click copy HTML. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back over to Divi and we're gonna add that embed code to a Divi code module. And so you'll see here the bottom, this is where they have the, the map. And before we add that embed code, I just want to show you really quickly how annoying this is. So this is how this layout comes with the Divi map module. You can go in here and you can click on map. It's going to show you that same error. And uh, you can click the question mark for under where it says Google API key. And, and Divi is going to give you a link to then go and show you how to set everything up. And this is what it looks like. This is what the steps are. You have to go to the Google developers console then you're going to go through the process of activating the maps API and then setting things up and it is a pain. So we're going to skip all that. We're just going to ditch this module altogether. And instead we're going to add a code module. Now you'll notice here, this is a full width section. Let me get rid of this for a sec. Full width section here, but you can put this in any section. 
uh, you can put it in a regular section or a full width section, it doesn't matter, but you just need a code module. Now, the reason why I'm sticking with the full width section is I want it to span the entire width of the screen, just like Elegant Themes had in the original design with the map module. I want it to be edge to edge. I don't want any padding or anything. And so you have to keep that in mind. If you want to do edge to edge, then you can use the full width section and it makes it easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that iframe code. Now in that code, there's a width. So the default width is 600. If we just hit save right now, it's not gonna look good. It's gonna be all squished. It's gonna be 600 pixels wide, which isn't very big. And so instead, we're gonna change that 600 to 100%. Let's see if you can see that really quick. Okay, it went away. Uh, it's trying to change the centering of the screen there. Yep, it wants to shoot back. So it's not letting me zoom in on the browser, but basically where it says width equals, and then uh, the quotations, you wanna change what's inside of the quotes from 600 to 100%. And then what, what that means is it's going to fill 100% of the container. So if you are not using a full width section like I am, you have just a regular section, a regular row. Well, the default row sizing uh, within Divi, I believe is 1080 pixels, 80% max width 1080 pixels. And so what it's going to do is it's going to reach 100% of that 1080 pixels and it's going to stop. And so if you want to break through that and go full width edge to edge, then use a full width section or in the row settings, you can go and tweak that and uh, make the row full width and, and, and stuff. So, um, and we actually talk about that in the blog post here to make it full width. Uh, let's see, if you want it to be full width and you're not using full width section, go into row settings, design, sizing, change width and max width to 100%. But the easier method is just to use a full width section. Okay, so we have pasted the code into the code module. We have changed the width of the iframe embed code for the map to 100%. Now we just need to update the page here. And once that updates, we can go over and refresh. And instead of that ugly air message watermarked map, we now have a full width embed map, super simple. Went to Google, grabbed the embed code, dropped it in a code module, boom, we're done. And so this is a full draggable map. You can zoom in, you can change to satellite. So you have a lot of the features that you do in the map module. You just can't change, can't add multiple pins and can't customize what happens when you click on a pin. So that's the only limitation. Uh, but other than that, it's good to go. So very, very uh, simple and easy to do. So that is it. That is it for this tutorial. There's not much else to talk about. Uh, we have here in the browser, so you can see what I was talking about here. It's set to 100% in the embed code, but my blog post um, row is set to 1080 pixels wide. And so it's gonna fill all of that and then stop. So um, so that's it for this blog post. If you found this post helpful and you wanna stay in the loop with everything else that we're doing for Divember, then go ahead and click the subscribe button here uh, so you can subscribe to the Divember tutorials and freebies and all of that and we'll, we'll go ahead and, and, and send it to you. So um, thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more Devember tutorials and freebies and feature editions and new products that are coming your way. Take care, bye-bye.